ये है पायनियर मोमेंटम इनोग्रेटेड बाय हिज एक्सीलेंसी मिस्टर वी ई डिमशिट्स डेप्टी चेयरमैन ऑफ यूएसएसआर काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स एंड इट हैज बीन इनोग्रेटेड ऑन फोर्थ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी 1984 now this is more clear uh, it is it has been written in hindi uh, pioneer monument mahamahim shri v e dimshits up pradhan mantri soviet sang dwara 4 february 1984 ko udghatit to uh, ye jo monument hai ye bhilai mein hai aur uh, uh, bhar yahan bhilai mein jo hai steel plant jo hai soviet sang ki madad se jo hai sthapit hua और यहाँ पर नज़दीक में ही एक रशियन कॉम्प्लेक्स भी है देर इज़ ऑल्सो अ रशियन कॉम्प्लेक्स देर इज़ ऑल्सो अ रेसिडेंशियल कॉलोनी हेयर नियर बाय विच इज़ ऑल्सो नोन एज रशियन कॉम्प्लेक्स वाई बिकॉज लॉर्ड ऑफ रशियंस यूज टू लिव देयर हु यूज टू असिस्ट द इंडियंस विद द रेगुलर ऑपरेशन ऑफ स्टील प्लांट एंड अपग्रेडेशन एंड वट एवर मेंटेनेंस एंड ओवरऑल वट एवर इज रिक्वायर्ड सो दैट वॉज Uh, that was the need for a uh, dedicated uh, uh, residential colony for the russians and uh, which is why uh, there was a russian complex here although the russian complex is still known by the uh, by the same term russian complex but it is it is now occupied all over the indians it is uh, an officers colony uh, and uh, because the russians have all left uh, i think uh, till the 90s uh, we used to see certain number of russians here Uh, in bhilai now uh, the the point i'm trying to make here is that uh, uh, so the russians or the soviets actually helped us uh, help india uh, with this steel plant uh, bhilai steel plant now the thing is that the bhilai steel plant that they instituted that they helped uh, institute back in the 50s it is still operational and it's still one of the one, one of the uh, strong points of the uh, indian economy right and quite a lot of people have been inspired to become engineers and and uh, other professional and technical skills have been acquired by people here also but there is a generation who has benefited uh, there there is a generation which has benefited uh, from this uh, steel plant the economy has benefited uh, the 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 people have benefited uh, they have uh, become inclined to seek more technical education more professional education and uh, so they have gone uh, now to the west and wherever you know they, they could find best jobs and best uh, salaries uh, the the point i'm trying to make here is that uh, you know despite uh, this uh, monumental help uh, from the soviet soviet union from uh, from the from the moscow regime uh, what what i am uh, what i am really uh, appreciative of is that uh, you know th there were also schools here uh, one of the schools uh, bsp school uh, where i have also uh, got my primary education my middle education my secondary education so the thing is that despite that monumental help there was hardly any any influence of the soviet union or the russians right we used to sing to our own national anthem we used to salute to our own national tricolor and uh, we used to celebrate our own way uh, our own lo local way i mean and uh, and uh, i mean uh, there was there was uh, a, a very strong family uh, family uh, presence here in the in the township uh, actually and many people who actually found jobs uh, you know they were immediately able to marry and 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 produce kids and and uh, they were also able to uh, bring up their kids on good education who then went uh, abroad or even went to uh, major cities like bengaluru and those kind of places and they developed their skills and they and they started new companies and they and they uh, climbed uh, up the corporate ladder so i mean this this uh, this i'm 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 pointing out this out that you know the the park is in good shape but the but the uh, you know the sign board uh, of the inauguration uh, needs some repair needs some uh, uh, some uh, 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 touch up once again uh, what i 
want to highlight is that you know that was the kind of friendship that we had with the soviet union that was the kind of friendship that we had with the russians uh, you know they used to they they helped us and they uh, they helped a, a whole generation uh, uh, coming next and uh, uh, now india is seen as much more prosperous but the kind of influence the western influence that now we have since the 90s it has corrupted the family system i mean you 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 can't even imagine the kind of corruption the family system has has accumulated now okay and uh, there is there is disintegration of the society society there is uh, hardly any uh, you know there is also uh, uh, much to conflicts going on uh, about the identity what identity do have in terms of like language in terms of caste in terms of um, race in terms of um, skin color or you know all kinds of complications have have come up right so the the point is that uh, you know this is the best place to compare what the soviet union has done what kind of assistance what kind of friendship what kind of influence it has uh, provided to the outside world uh, despite the fact that india was never an ally of the of the uh, of of the moscow regime it was always a friend uh, india for uh, a, a much major part of its uh, since independence has been following a non alignment policy and today it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's termed as a multi alignment policy where we align with all people based on our interest which is fine which is fine okay but the point is that you know uh, the this is the kind of uh, uh, this is the kind of uh, friendship that we had uh, with the, the soviet union and how it uh, helped us uh, build our society um, and uh, on the other hand the the uh, the western influence that we have i mean even our food you know the the food is fast now okay this this fast food we never used to hear prior to the 90s uh, when the when the liberal liberalization was uh, taken up prior to the 90s we, we never used to hear this fast food uh, term now the food is fast and uh, when you consume it uh, the human body becomes slow and it becomes uh, ill and you need uh, you need medical intervention so that that's the kind of influence uh, you know you can compare it and i think this is remarkable uh, uh, you know and, and 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 i've and i've passed uh, through this road many a times but never have i uh, actually uh, thought about uh, you know uh, wanting to make a video i never thought that this is something that i should uh, uh, document uh, i should uh, i should talk about it i should share about it but uh, for some reason you know for 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 these past few months when i've, I've realized that uh, you know uh, because of the simple reason that our government uh, our modi government has been trying to uh, you know internationalize uh, the indian rupee in terms of international trade so that it can it can uh, more confidently deal with uh, whoever it wants and 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 trade with whoever it wants you know that's when i realized that you know so much we are so much dependent on the western world and uh, even though we are dependent what is it bringing to us you know that's that's the you know, the, the the bottom line that is the question we need to ask if we are really free we need to ask actually what is it that that uh, the western influence has brought us uh, except for fast food and some you know the family system is disintegrating and 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 um, uh, you know nudity is on the rise and and uh, people are no more uh, uh, no more i mean the the corrupt culture uh, is is now the mainstream okay so uh, this is where we are i mean uh, so we must think about it